Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very special video and it is gonna be a little unique and a little bit more different than what I usually do. Now there is a collective reading at the end of this video. So if you just wanna jump straight forward into that reading, if you just wanna skip this introduction, you wanna skip the other little featured thing I'm doing in this video, then go down to that timestamp and have yourself a little ball and uh, enjoy today's collective reading, which is of course going to be fall and Halloween themed considering tis the season. That's kinda like why I have this little fall themed uh, filter going on here. That and I went hiking today, so I'm absolutely exhausted and a total mess. And I didn't like the video that I made when I was out hiking just because it like it was so exhausting between the heat and the altitude, even though it's the end of October. Go figure, it was acting like summer out there. So um, with that all said, uh, yeah, I decided to record this here at home. Um, anyway, so yeah, timestamp down below for your collective reading today. Now, as for what this video is gonna be about, besides the collective reading, so a few years ago, when I was still living in LA, I did a Christmas decor tour, where I took you on a little tour of my apartment in LA, and I was showing you like my Christmas tree and all of my different holiday decorations and it was so much fun to do and people seemed to enjoy it. When I moved to Chicago a couple of years ago, when I moved back there for that brief amount of time, um, I didn't do anything like holiday decor tour wise, but I did do an apartment tour. And of course there was a collective reading that went with each of those decor tour type of readings like the Christmas one in LA. I did a little Christmas collective reading afterwards and the um, the regular apartment tour back in Chicago. I did a, I don't even remember what the collective reading was, but there was some kind of collective reading I did at the end of that one. So this one's going to be no different. Like I said, there's a Halloween autumn themed um, collective reading towards the end of this, like I said, jump to that timestamp if you wanna go straight into it. But this one is going to be a Halloween and fall decor tour of my apartment here in Colorado. So I haven't done an apartment tour yet in here and I've never done a Halloween or fall themed type of decor tour. So I was just like, why not? Let's do that. So that's basically what this is. So I'm just gonna take you guys around and show you guys how I like to decorate for Halloween and the season of fall. And then we're gonna jump right into that collective reading. So before I get into the Halloween decor tour, I just wanna ask you guys super quick to please give this video a big thumbs up because that helps me out here on the YouTube algorithm. And I invite you guys also to subscribe at this time and hit that notification bell because that way then you will be up to date and in the know first and foremost on any updates that come to this channel, whether it's in my community section or a short or pick a card or whatever that's going on. Um, so yeah, I definitely invite you guys to do that. And, uh, you know, drop me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. You know, let's create a conversation here. Let's chat. Let's Let's, let's chalk. I was gonna combine the words chat and talk together and it became chalk, so let's chalk. Finally, you guys, if you are interested in your own personal reading, you can head on over to my website, shadowandshine.com, and you can either look under the tarot reading section or the shop section and select the reading that would be good for you. And I offer all kinds of readings, image readings, YouTube unlisted readings, Zoom readings, and it's like all varieties of pricing. So it all depends on what your needs are, um, both spiritually in terms of guidance, as well as your budget. So um, yeah, shadowandshine.com, that's basically the one-stop shop for everything. You can also find my brand new Oracle deck there, Fallen for You. Um, and this is my fall themed Oracle deck. You will be seeing this in the collective reading coming up, but that is available there as well. So whether you do tarot or it's a, not a tarot deck, it's an Oracle deck. So whether you do 
readings for yourself or friends or if you have clients yourself it's a great addition for anybody it's pretty easy to understand um, self-explanatory I also have a video on here that's kind of like a walkthrough virtual guide for each of the cards in this deck um, since it does not come with its own guidebook but if you're interested in that or my original oracle deck written in the stars that's all on my website shadowandshine.com also, my Patreon is open, so if you are interested in joining and being a part of the Patreon and the Discord server, which is going to be an awesome community of people just simply connecting on spirituality, twin flames, astrology, crystals, all that good stuff, you're welcome to join the Patreon. Um, Patreon memberships start as low as $1.11 per month. Like, easy peasy so once again i'm trying to be very budget friendly people for people here because, because i know times are economically difficult right now and sometimes joining a patreon is going to be a lot more budget friendly than getting a personal reading at the five dollars and 55 cents tier you actually get to have access to that discord server so um that's probably going to be your best deal your best offer there and um, the one dollar and eleven cents per month tier they start off with weekly readings but as soon as you jump up to the five dollars and 55 cent tier per month then you get daily card pulls sent to your uh, inbox every single day for guidance on how to navigate your day and there's a lot of other perks um, you know, the weekly card polls, the daily card polls, the community connect to connect with other people. Um, there's going to be collective readings and live readings and all kinds of good stuff. So either way, you want to check out the Patreon. Link to that is down below. Link to everything you need to know is down below, whether it's Patreon, my socials, of course, my website, shadowandshine.com. Um, the Patreon is brand spanking new, so um, it like literally just opened, you guys. So now is the time to jump in and be that early bird because most of the messages will probably go straight towards you. Um, anyways, I have rambled on and on here long enough as it is talking about Patreon and the decor tour and my website and everything else. So let's jump in. Let's go have some fun. Um, come with me right now and let's go check out some of my Halloween decorations. So let's go. Once again, the collective reading timestamp down below for that. It's at the end. So let's go check out some decorations. So this is the doorway to enter into my apartment and as you guys can see on the back of it, we have this little black cat with a couple of pumpkins. I have had this decoration since I was a child, which is why it looks like so unfortunate and <laughs> mangled, but I still put it up. And right below that, we have this skull. And when we turn around, we first enter the kitchen. So this is my kitchen table. And the first decoration we have here is this jack-o'-lantern bucket. So when I was a child, actually, I used to use this bucket all the time to go trick-or-treating in, and I still have it to this day, and I use it for decoration. So there we go. Um, that's just where some food is, like my little pantry area. There are a couple of swans up there. Those are technically Christmas decorations because <laughs> I got them at Target during Christmas time. But um, I leave them up all year. They kind of remind me of the twin flame thing, which is why there are two. Uh, the maintenance guys who came in here the other day to check on some stuff actually complimented the swans and thought that they were pretty cool. So we come on over here and we get into where I do readings. So this is kind of just like where a bunch of decks and notebooks and things like that sit on that little shelf. And here is my actual altar, my desk, where I do readings. And the altar is decorated for Christmas. So, or not Christmas, Halloween. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of myself here, you guys. Um, so we have my little smudge bowl. I do a lot of smudging in there. Uh, but we have, let me turn on the light here really quick, my ring light. 
it's off right now because I'm not like actually recording at my desk just yet. There we go. But we have um, some little fake leaves that I have scattered amongst the crystals. It helps with the aesthetic. And being a Libra Sun and Moon, of course, I am all about the aesthetic. There's a little um, crystal with some birth chart stuff on it. And we go down the line here. We have more and more crystals and leaves for fall decoration. A couple of spell jars that I made before moving to Colorado. Um, so those are sitting there still kind of doing their thing. And of course, you guys all know my brand new Oracle deck, Fallen for You, that is here on the deck or here on the desk. <laughs> I can't talk apparently. Um, I just bought this one, the Spirit Oracle deck. I bought that on my birthday. And a cute little coffee tarot card sticker. I thought that was fun. So that's basically how my altar is decked out for the fall season for um, Halloween. Oh, and on my ring light here, this is kind of fun. We have these little festive fall jingle bells. I was trying to find a spot for those earlier, and I was like, I don't know where to put them, so I just put them there. All right, I'm gonna turn off the ring light. Don't need that on right now. So there you go. Um, so here now we're in the kitchen. I have some flying bats on the refrigerator. That's about it, otherwise, you know, just your normal average fridge. But over here, at the stove, this is pretty cool. Let me turn on the light. So I have some glittery pumpkins all lined up on the stove. They all work very well there. This one actually is like a little, has a little magnet on the bottom of it. So that's pretty cool. We have pumpkin leaves and lattes, please. A little like fall coffee cup. I, I want to say I got that at Michael's maybe a year or so ago. I don't know, something like that. But anyways, that's my stove. So the stove is decked out. Um, if we turn around, this is just like, you know, normal sink. There's some dirty dishes in there I need to do. Um, so if we go around, oh, we have some stuff right here we can look at. So we have this spooky purple jack-o-lantern he does light up but his batteries are not working so great we have a little spider candle opera with no candles in it <laughs> um another one of those gold glittery pumpkins um these are actually brand new i got them in like a whole package for like three bucks or something like that at target in like their super cheap area a little jar that says trick-or-treat on it and it has little um pumpkin decor thing is inside of it i think the pumpkin decor in there is from hobby lobby behind it this is britain new <coughs> sorry about that my throat was like ah, what's going in and out um so anyways uh we have this magical mystical book decoration with a crystal popping right out of it of course it's a fake crystal the crystal does light up and this is brand new i got it this year at home goods i thought it was super cool and this is something that actually stays out all year because i think the crystal is fabulous we have a little trick or treat sign up here and down here this one also sits out all year just because i think it's pretty Hi, Shadow. <laughs> He's like, I'm pretty too. I am pretty too. Yes, you are a pretty boy. I agree. You are gorgeous. And you're a gorgeous girl. Hi, Tinkerbell. They both want to be a part of the action. But um, this pumpkin, it kind of reminds me of Cinderella's pumpkin, actually. And I got this when I was still living in L.A., actually. Um... Probably at like a Michael's or Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something like that. I don't remember exactly where, but like one of those places. But I've had it since I've lived in LA. 
and um, yeah, it sits out all year just because I think it's really pretty. It's Cinderella's uh, pumpkin. It's kind of got like a pink vibe at the bottom of it, and then it's just silver the rest of the way through. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, as we go over here, uh, we have Tinkerbell's food sitting out. She likes to eat at the <laughs> counter. She's such a weird girl. She'll climb up this chair and then she'll just like sit here and she'll eat her food. And she kind of is a grazer. Like she'll start off eating on the floor with Shadow, but then she'll hop up here and she'll be like, I want to eat at the counter like a person. So I just leave it out for her to graze at. Shadow doesn't bother with it, so it's fine. But we have these two little guys here. These two are real small pumpkins that I got at the grocery store. <laughs> and I just thought they were cute. So it was like, all right, a white one and one with a silly face and a hat. And I may actually paint on the white one, Shadow and Tinkerbell's names. So we'll see. But anyways... Um, we have some fall leaves that kind of scan and go around the kitchen here. There are my former license plates, too. <laughs> um, but they kind of just, like, hang out here. Like, they're supposed to look like they're actual falling leaves is the goal. So I thought that was pretty cool. And there are some star lights up there, too, that stay up all year. They are just not currently lit as of this moment, because it's daytime. There's no reason to have them lit. Um, okay, so let's bring this around towards the fireplace. This is my fireplace here, and we have some fall berries that are down here, super cool. And we have this huge bouquet of kind of just like fall leaves, fall flowers, I think it's fun. <laughs> it's in yet another thing from like Home Goods or something. It's like a sparkly, glittery pink and silver container. But that's where they sit. Um, this obviously gets changed out seasonally. So these fall leaves will be gone come like November 1st so we can get ready for Christmas. Um, they have other things in them for like the summertime and stuff. So that changes out throughout the year. These two signs are from Spirit Halloween, and I love them, so they stay up all year because they're just super cool. We love moon cycles, and we love tarot. We have here, we have like this little garland, tinsely kind of looking acorn, and it does have like a hole underneath, so I think you can put like lights in there or something. I don't because I don't have anything to go under there, but... It does have that as an option. Um, up here we have pumpkin spice and everything nice. We have one of those signs. We have a you've been ghosted pink pumpkin. Because let's be real, we've all been ghosted at some point in our lives. <laughs> no one's immune to that. And that brings us to the mantle. So the mantle is very decked out. Um, we have leaves all across the mantle and we have pumpkins. We have pumpkins sitting up on the mantle, a little tiny witch. So <laughs> that's cute. Here's a picture of Shadow and Tinkerbell in Breckenridge on one of our hiking expeditions inside a uh, Disney frame. My children do bark. Do yours bark? <laughs> Another gold pumpkin, a pam pink pumpkin, and a sign that says, hey, pumpkin, and more of the lovely leaves. Um, the reason I have so much of this like fall decor stuff was because in 2019, before the pandemic, we actually had a, um, a big Thanksgiving dinner in my apartment building that I was living at in LA. There's like 54 units in that building. And we used the community room and we just like filled it up with everybody. Everyone was invited. It was like a huge thing. And one of my neighbors, she is like the queen of Thanksgiving. She loves cooking. So she was kind of like in charge of all the cooking stuff. 
And since I like making things look pretty and aesthetically pleasing, being like I said, the Libra sun and moon I am, um, I was the one who was in charge of the decorations. So needless to say, a lot of this is from that celebration. And I still find use for it and put it up around here. Um, I currently actually have a Hallmark Christmas movie on because I'm really excited for Christmas. I have a strand of pink lights that go around my TV. They are not currently lit as of right now because once again, it's daytime. But that's my mantle. I love my mantle. I can't wait to decorate it for Christmas because I know it's gonna look amazing. So now if we turn it around, here's my balcony. I can show you more of that later. There's my couch. Um, so if we walk through here, we have a trick or treat sign. I feel like it's a little dark back here, but we have this lovely trick or treat sign and an another Halloween pumpkin and a card that I apparently gave my grandparents a very long time ago, but I use it for decoration now. I don't know why, but I do. A little sign for shadow that's up all year. Um, a little cat hangy, hangy doodle sign thing. <laughs> um, this sign I got when I was still living in LA. I got it at like Bed Bath & Beyond or something. It just, you know, has all places LA, all places I've been to. We have more leaves that kind of go up and decorate around. We have my wedding dream Barbie from when I was a kid. <laughs> we have a lot of Mickey ears from all the different times I've been to Disneyland. And there are Christmas lights on this bookshelf. Once again, not lit as of right now because it is daytime. But we have more Chris, or not Chris, I keep saying Christmas stuff. We're not there yet. <laughs> more uh, leaves, fall leaves as we're going around. And, um... This is my, I love this table here, this side table that I have next to my couch because it actually plugs in to an outlet. So it's very convenient to have like my phone and my computer and, you know, all that kind of stuff sitting here because it literally just plugs in here on the side and voila, they're charged. I don't have to like worry about plugging in my phone directly into an outlet or moving it somewhere else. And here we have my coffee table. We have a Chicago candle here and some crystals around it. We have, oh, that sun is like really glaring right now. We have some crystals here. Um, the tray that it's sitting on is actually like, it's all astrological. The tray I got last year at Spirit Halloween, once again, that's something that stays out all year. We have my Mickey pumpkin that sits on the coffee table and he lights up, he lights up too. But once again, it's daytime, so it's not gonna do much good to put him on. Um, we have more swans sitting here. I don't remember where I got that, but I've had that for a while, really pretty. Once again, it kind of goes with the twin flame thing. Another glittery pumpkin next to the swans and a, um, I don't know, is this a pumpkin or is it a gourd? <laughs> you guys can decide, let me know. Is it a pumpkin or is it a gourd? But we have a pink metallic glittery looking one right there and that also lights up too. Um, that one I got at Menards last year. There is no Menards in Colorado or when I was living in California, so that one's kind of special. So that's my uh, coffee table and how that looks for Halloween. Obviously we have dog toys and dog beds and dogs. Yes, hello. Hi guys. You guys helping with the Halloween tour? Wishing everyone a happy Halloween? Yes, we are. Um, outside there is my jack-o'-lantern sitting there. But I will wait until later to actually like show you the outside because the outside gets lit in its own in its own right, in its own manner. I just love how I have that 
mantle and everything decorated though. It looks very pretty. So next, we're gonna go back to the bathroom because the bathroom's really like the only place that um, has more Halloween decorations. But I'm gonna have to pause this for a moment because my laundry stuff is also in there, my washer and dryer. And I have something in the washer right now that is so loud and noisy. And I don't want to take you guys in there while it's being loud and noisy. So I'm just going to pause this for a moment and go in there. It's not going to feel like a pause to you at all. Because once this is edited together and put together, we're just going to be right there. So give me a moment and uh, let's go and check out the Halloween decor down the hallway and into the bathroom. Okay, continuing on with our little Halloween decor tour. Now we are going to go down the hallway. To the left, we have a hanging spider, very similar to the hanging cat we saw earlier. A sign that says turkey, pie, and football for the fall. Um, to our right, this is actually a closet door to where I put my coats and stuff. And it has a um, astrological door cover, which I just think is cool. And that stays all year. That's not just a Halloween thing. Once again, got it from Spirit Halloween. You would be surprised how much cool stuff Spirit Halloween has. I leave out all year round. Like right over here. Hi, Tinkerbell. Like this blanket here. This is um, the Moon Cycles. Very similar to that sign that I showed you guys earlier. Once again, that's something that stays out like all year long. So we go down the hallway and before we get to my bedroom, we have this hanging witch just hanging out here. So she hangs in the doorway. I really don't have anything in my bedroom to show you guys like Halloween decor wise. So we're not even gonna bother with my bedroom, just the bathroom and we're done. We have a hanging pumpkin at the doorway to the bathroom. And on the side here, when we come in, we have a born to Sp sparkle sign, which is obviously not Halloween related, but um, a part of my um, bathroom decor and some leaves surrounding that. We come inside and we have a leaf here. We have a pumpkin sitting here and we have some more leaves hanging out here over on the kitchen or the bathroom. I swear I can't talk. These dogs are also partially <laughs> distracting me right now. Um, back here we have my shelves for some makeup and stuff. And there's obviously some more leaves hanging out here. So, and Tinkerbell has words of input too. There's my washer and dryer. Tinkerbell, what are you doing? What's going on? You want Shadow to play with you? I think that's what she wants. She wants Shadow to play. But he would just rather follow me right now. He's following Mama. And we have a few more leaves here. But that's basically it. Like, the bathroom is not as elaborate as everywhere else. You guys, can we leave the bathroom now? Can we, like, move? Go. 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 Yes, let's go. Turn the lights out. Yeah. Yeah, go. 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 Go get your sister. Okay, they're going in the bedroom to play. I'm not going in the bedroom because, like I said... Um, I don't really have anything in there that's like really Halloween-y or fall decor wise to share. So anyways, those are my fall and Halloween decorations, you guys. I'm probably most proud of this uh, mantle. Um, when it gets a little bit darker, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my balcony because the pumpkin gets lit and stuff out there. And after that, we're going to dive into this reading. So there we go. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your little Halloween decor tour. If you are here, then congratulations because you have tapped the timestamp for the reading portion of today's video. Or 
maybe you watched the whole Halloween decor tour. And if you did, I appreciate you. You are amazing. You are awesome sauce. And now we're ready to get into the reading portion, as I said, of today's video. So today we're basically doing a collective reading. So as always, you guys, when I start shuffling these cards and they start coming out, if the message doesn't flow, let it go. It won't be for everybody. But if it does resonate, now you will definitely know. Um, so take the parts that do make sense in your life. And if it doesn't make sense for you, just, just leave it. It's okay, you know. Um, don't force it to fit is what it comes down to. So, yeah, it's a collective reading, and it is obviously fall-themed, considering we are using my Oracle deck here, Fallen for You, and um, the intention here is basically, like, what you need to know right now for the season of fall, for the upcoming Halloween holiday coming up, just anything revolving around that, like fall, Halloween, maybe even Thanksgiving, because that's going to be coming up soon too. So anything revolving in that time frame is what we're looking at. And anything could come up, you know, it could be stuff about your career, it could be stuff about your love life, who knows? It's a wild card. So I'm just going to go ahead and get shuffling here and we'll see what comes through for you guys so what does the current oh there we go we got one we have you are the magic this is a wonderful way to start this reading out I'm not even sure how long this reading is going to go for I'm just going to keep pulling cards until either they stop coming out or just feels like this is a good place to stop. But um, this is a great place to start, actually. So this is basically Spirit's way of reminding you that you are the magic, that you are so special and you are so unique. And you're limited edition, babe. You know, there's no one else out there like you. And when you're weird or limited edition or any of those kinds of things, that means you have gifts and talents that nobody else has, that there is a sparkle and a shine about you that just lights up the world around you. And sometimes when we stick out like a sore thumb like that, we don't necessarily feel like we're special and we feel sometimes very awkward and weird and... Um, we don't feel like we fit in. It feels more like we're flowing up the stream instead of going with the flow of the stream, but that's okay because you're inspiring someone. What is going on over here? Sorry, you guys. I My dogs are making noises behind me. I sit down to do this reading and they decide they want to start getting into trouble. And you know, yes. Thank you. Lay down. There's a bed, liter a dog bed, literally right below my feet right now where somebody can just like lay down and chill out. And that's what I would prefer them to do rather than me being interrupted to so see Shadow, leave it alone. I will take care of it. <laughs> I'm done with this reading. They're driving me nuts. Okay. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying here with You Are the Magic. Um, yeah, so... You know, even if it feels like you're not inspiring anyone, you are. So it's like you have this magic inside of you. Um, so don't don't doubt that. And I feel like that's really important for someone to hear because a lot of the times we don't realize how blessed we truly are, how gifted we truly are, um, how we really do make an impact on other people's lives, even if it's just one other person's lives, you know. I, I can't tell you guys how many times I hop on here to YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or whatever, and I post reading after reading after reading. And truthfully, you guys, a lot of the times I feel like I'm not making a single impact on anyone's lives. And a lot of the times I'm like, well, <laughs> I feel like I'm just posting these for me because a lot of the times I don't feel like I'm making an impact in anyone's lives. But maybe I am, and maybe I don't know it. You know, maybe people are just not vocalizing that and sharing that. And even if it's just one person's life, one person's life that I'm 
impacting in a positive way. Even if it's just one person, I am encouraging and supporting and bringing some kind of positivity to and hope to, then all these uploads after upload after upload after upload is still worth it because that other person matters. Whether it's one person, a hundred person, people, a thousand people, a million people, whatever, it doesn't matter. The number is not the point. The point is, is that we all have that magic inside of us to inspire and uplift someone. And I know it's a really long tangent for just one basic card here for the very first card to come out. But I feel like it's an important card. Like that's a really important card to come out first and foremost as a message for you guys. Oh, something almost flipped there. All right, let's see. What else What else does this group need to know? What else does the YouTube collective, whoever's going to see this video? Oh, we literally just got three cards just fell boom, 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 right in a row. So, okay. Um, we're going to go with this middle one here first because this middle one is the most intense one. Um, so we have buried under the leaves of life. And clearly we have this cute, adorable little dog, as I was just talking about my two little <laughs> little tiny ones running around here causing trouble. Are you okay? Do you want to do this in my lap? Are you fine? Yeah. I especially have to watch over Tinkerbell. No, don't bark at me. Please don't bark at me right now. Um, I especially have to look over Tinkerbell because sometimes she just like eats things that she shouldn't. And the last time that happened, we wound up at the emergency vet. So I've been really keeping a close eye on her with that. But, you know, she's small and she's quick. So you never know what she's going to get away with. But um, the dog here in this card, he doesn't seem like he's getting away with very much. Um, he is buried under all these leaves. And the leaves in this scenario is supposed to represent the stress and the anxiety and the burdens that we all face, whether it's um, responsibilities or bills or, you know, just like whatever it is. It could be um, taking care of some, uh, like an elderly relative. It could be taking care of a sick loved one. Um, it could be a lot of different things. And some of these burdens are not, like, it's not to say that, like, taking care of a relative is a burden because obviously, you know, hopefully you would love and care about that person, but it can still be tiring is what it comes down to. Um, so you just simply may feel very burdened and burnt out and stressed out right now at this time, even though you're probably looking adorable doing it because, you know, this dog is adorable. So clearly you must be adorable as you're handling all this, which is great. That means you're handling it flawlessly. But, um, you know, you may be feeling the heaviness of the world right now. And even if your personal life is pretty much together right now, if you are an intuitive person, if you're a sensitive person, then you could be just feeling the heaviness of the world right now because there's a lot, a lot of heaviness happening in the world as a whole. You know, we got everything happening between Israel and Palestine. I'm not going to get into that. This is not like a political thing at all. Um, you know, here in the United States, inflation is like totally bonkers. Corporations are insane with their greed. The middle class is being wiped out and everyone's becoming poor. Um, so, you know, there are problems happening all over the globe bottom line. And, you know, even if your own personal life is going well, if you have a heart for other people, then chances are, you know, it hurts seeing that stuff because in some ways we feel helpless and like we can't do anything. And it's like, how do we change the world? How do we make it better when we feel so small in it? Um, so you could be feeling just buried under the leaves of, of life right now. Um, ironically, we also have this Orangey Glad It Happened card. <laughs> and, um, you know, Orangey Glad It Happened is like a play on words for Aren't You Glad It Happened? So, um, it's like spirit is almost kind of like pulling a little joke right here right now in a sense. Like, you know, yeah, you have all these stresses and you have all these burdens and you have all these anxieties, but aren't you glad you have them? <laughs> 
Um, and some of them you may be glad that you do have, um, such as, you know, maybe tending to a loved one who needs extra assistance right now. Um, you know, you could be raising small children and that can be very stressful and feel like a burden, but at the same time, it's a labor of love. So, um, you know, it's like, not all, but I'm sure that for some of these things that you may feel burdened with, there is goodness in there. So that could be spirit kind of, you know, reminding you to look at those things and remember those things. And we also have the October card coming through, clearly indicating the month that we're in. So there's a lot of this happening right here, right now, in the month of October. Okay, so let's see what else... What else do we need to know? What else is going on? Okay. Tinkerbell is being quiet <laughs> and relaxing in the bed by my feet. So that's a good thing. That's what we want. I don't know where Shadow is, but um, he's usually not the one who gets into stuff. So he's probably just laying down somewhere and resting. Okay, we got some cards that definitely want to jump here. Oh, something. See, they. I talk about them jumping, and they're like, yeah, we want to jump. All right, actually come through all the way. Don't just like, okay, that's that's two. Oh, that's actually two cards. Perfect. I'm like, I thought it was more than that, but I might, might have been looking at these guys. Okay, so we have witchy bitchy. <laughs> um... So, you know, with all the burdens that may be happening in your life right now, this card is basically a reminder to not get into bitch mode, basically, when you are feeling stressed out. Like, it's really easy when we're, you know, under the pressure, when we're in the, the uh, when we're on the hot seat, basically, uh, it's easy to just, like, snap at people because, we're stressed out and we're feeling the heat, we're feeling the pressure. It's like we're in that pressure cooker, you know? Um, but try not to do that. Try not to snap at people and take it out on other people, especially not people who are responsible for the burdens, especially innocent bystanders, basically. So, you know, we all have our bitchy moments, you know, maybe it's that time of the month or something and your hormones are making you a little crabby. That's okay, you know. Um, but I would say try to find a constructive way to take out the witchy bitchiness. Just don't take it out on the people who love you and care about you and who are trying to help you <laughs> through life's burdens right now. So I, I feel like that's kind of where that witchy bitchy card comes in here. All right, I'm trying to organize these cards in a good way so you guys can see them all clearly and we can try and get in as many as we can in the screen as well. And cheers, apple cider. So this is kind of a reminder that, you know, even though there's a lot going on right now, it's like take the time to still celebrate, uh, make a toast, you know, just enjoy some good times through it all because, you know, we can't have everything always being a burden. We can't have everything always being dark and troublesome. You know, we got to make space for some of the good stuff too. So I feel like that's what the uh, Cheers Apple Cider card is a reminder there for. All right, what else, what else do they need to know? What else is happening for... This, oh, there we go. We got one. Basic Betty. Leggings, Ugg boots, pumpkin spice latte, vanilla girl. So um, this card is just about that. It is, you know, the typical fall stereotype of things that girls love. <laughs> I feel like all that's missing here is a, uh, a shopping stop at Target. <laughs> well but otherwise this is basically it and you know there's nothing wrong with being this person and embracing this person I myself am this person too which is clearly why this card is in here um but you know what like this is kind of like that 
Um, it's like that comfort food or guilty pleasure kind of card where it's just like, you know, indulge in the things that make you feel good and make you feel cozy and comfortable. And especially when, when you're, you know, feeling burdened and stressed out and weighed down, you know, if you want to put on those leggings, Ugg boots and go to Starbucks and get your pumpkin spice latte, go do it. Go treat yourself. So I feel like that's what that reminder is here too. Um, it also simply could be like a good um, identifying card for who we're talking to here in this reading. You know, the group that may be tuned in. It may be those basic Bettys. All right. What else does this group need to know at this time? What else is happening? These, these cards are just like teasing me. I keep seeing them like flying up and jumping. And it's like, oh, so, okay. Now this one, see, look at that. It, it, wait. See the green one right here? It flipped out. And usually they'll like flip and go back to the front side. But this one stayed like this. So it's sticking out like a sore thumb. So I got to take it. And we have the apple of their eye. Okay, so this one is probably going to answer some romance type of questions here because I do know that a lot of people come to YouTube and search readings for love readings. And honestly, that's probably what people come for YouTube readings for the most. Not to say that people don't care about their careers or what kind of house they're going to have, or money, or any of those kinds of things, or any other subjects. Although I do think there are probably better subjects than money as well. Um, but majority of people realistically come to YouTube to have better understanding uh, about their relationship situation, whether they're lo looking for love, or they're looking for clarity about a person in their lives, um, I've been doing a lot of research about this simply so I can figure out how to drive this channel better because I, I try to avoid love readings, honestly, but I feel like I may have to start getting back into them, <laughs> even though they're not my favorite thing uh, personally. But hey, if they're someone else's favorite thing, I'm here for the people, not for myself. Um, but anyways, with the apple of their eye coming through, um, clearly that is making a romantic reference to somebody in your life who sees you as the apple of their eye. Now, if you're in a relationship, you know, this could clearly be whoever it is that you're in a relationship with, whether it's a spouse or a significant other. Um, if you're not in a relationship, there could be somebody who has a crush on you. Um, maybe you don't even realize it. Um, or if you have a significant uh, person of interest who is on your mind, this could be in reference to that connection, that if you are seeing them in that light of seeing them as the apple of your eye, it could be an indication that they also see you as the apple of their eye. So a little bit of love confirmation there for some people. Lovely, lovely. Uh, what else? Oh, something literally just flipped out. It went right back in. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, I'm trying to catch the ones that are flipping, like, right away, but then they go right back in, unless it's that, the green one that just came out. Okay, growing new beginnings. Okay, so you have an opportunity right now to grow some new beginnings, is what it comes down to. And I feel like this is, like, a combination of a couple of things. So, number one, I feel like some of these new beginnings are tied to... The pressure that you're experiencing right now. I feel like this is a pretty significant card because it did come out so early. Now, like I said, I feel like for most of you, the burdens that you're experiencing right now, they're not like things that are toxic or things that you need to remove from your life. I feel like they're stressful things, but once again, it's like, a labor of love is what it comes down to. Like I said, whether it's caring for a family member, like an older pa like parent figure or grandparent or something who can't take care of themselves or small children, or it could be um, 
you know, maybe helping out a friend or something like that. It could be maybe, maybe it's not even relational. It could be that you're starting a business and that you really care about what you do. But when you're running a business or starting a business, there's a lot of hours that goes into that. There's a lot of work that goes into that. Um, you know, everything that I do here, you know, that would be an example of a labor, labor of love because, you know, people only see, you know, the like one minute short reel or TikTok or they see, you know, like, oh, it's like an hour and a half, pick a card reading, no big deal or whatever. But there's a lot more hours that go in behind the scenes to all that stuff like SEO and keyword research and composing uh, captions and hashtags and thumbnails and images and all these other things, right? And it's no different with any kind of business. Um, so you could be having a labor of love right now of something that you deeply care about, but there's a lot of work that goes into it behind the scenes. So regardless, I feel like you're going to be giving birth soon. This is kind of like giving birth. Um, it's a time of new beginnings. So all this hard work that you've been putting into um Whatever it is you've been stressed out about, whether it's personally, professionally, or otherwise, you're going to start reaping those rewards. You're going to have new beginnings here. There's, there's going to be some uh, good stuff happening here. Come on, card. Get underneath here. Oh, and the new beginning. I almost forgot to mention this new beginning. Um, it could also be tied to this relationship here, too. You know, this apple of your eye person. Um you know, depending on where you're at and what's happening here. It could be tied to that. In, in fact, especially if you have felt buried under the leaves of life, dealing with this person, like maybe you don't know how they feel and that's been stressing you out and that's been burdening you. Um, if these two things are tied even more so, there's going to be a new beginning there um, this season dealing with that person. All right. Oh, there we go. So we have smashed pumpkins, smashed hearts. Now I know this probably seems kind of scary coming out, especially after we're talking about some good things like, oh, there are going to be these new beginnings. This person sees you, sees you the apples, their eye. Um, I feel like if anything, this is an indicator of the past. I feel like in the past, you have experienced some heartache and heartbreak and some uh, unhappy endings that's probably brought out some of that witchy, bitchy energy <laughs> inside of you. Um, so I feel like you've definitely experienced this. I mean, who hasn't? We've all been there, whether it's disappointments in our romantic relationships or friendships or uh, career failures or whatever that may be. Um, you know, that can be really hard to rise above. But I feel like this card is coming through because it's a reminder that you are going to have to rise above that. Because, you know, remaining that way, you're not going to be able to grow a new beginning. So I feel like that's what that card represents. It, 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 that if you're having um, trust issues in this new beginning, you can't fully engulf this new beginning. You can't fully embrace it unless you release the pain from the past unless you heal that so you can completely move on otherwise it's going to be you know carrying some garbage and baggage and just like leftover gunk from the past into a brand new sparkly thing and you don't want to do that you know like that's no fun oh oh and here we go here's here's how you can fix that problem <laughs> I was literally just saying you need to clean that up. Sage, uh, cleanse your home. So, you know, yeah, I mean, you could do that quite physically in terms of saging your home, saging your crystals and your decks and all that kind of stuff, whatever stuff it is that you have. But I feel like more, more importantly, this card is symbolic of healing and cleansing yourself. You know, this could mean... Maybe you need to go and get some Reiki done. You know, go visit your local metaphysical shop. Ask if they do Reiki healings. Um, you know, it could be uh, needing to sit down and having a discussion with your therapist. If you go to therapy, it could be having a discussion there saying, hey, you know, like I have some good opportunities coming up. Or, you know, I would like to see more good opportunities coming up, but it's going to be hard for me to do that if I'm still holding on to fears and doubts 
from the past. So yeah, this is definitely confirmation of that. Just kind of like clean up your act there. I love it when the cards basically, um, they basically completely read my mind and they're like, oh yeah, this, this is the next step. Because <laughs> that's literally what just happened there. All right, what, what else does this group need to know? What else is happening here for the collective? There we go, carving out, carving pumpkins, carving out manifestations. So yes, you're in a season right now where you can manifest stuff. Now, number one, you can manifest stuff because you are the magic, you have it within you, and you know, you have this opportunity for new beginnings. It could be a new beginning with a special person who already has a lot of care and love for you. So, you know, you have these amazing opportunities in front of you. So you do have to kind of ask yourself, aren't you glad it happened, you know, when it comes down to the past? Because I feel like even though you went through pain and heartache and disappointment in the past, you don't have to be scared that that's going to happen again. And you've learned from that. You've grown from that, which is why you can be happy that it happened because it's going to teach you what is good and healthy and acceptable in your life. It's going to teach you what it is that you actually want in terms of joy and living your best life. So, you know, take those painful lessons and transmute it into something that's going to fuel you towards your future. Don't let it keep you sheltered and scared and, um, you know, just like held up in your own little prison because that's not why those things happened to you. They happened to you because there was going to be something a million times better than what happened before. And you have that opportunity to carve out those manifestations. All right, we're going to do just a few more because I can tell our screen is getting more and more full here. I'm going to bring out the stands for the rear. Um, that and I've been recording this reading for almost a half an hour now, which is pretty good for a collective reading. So we're just going to pull a few more cards and then I think wrap it up. All right, so we have, oh, we got two that came out together again. All right, okay, okay, this is more kind of along those lines. So we have Spellcaster. So similar to carving out manifestations with the Spellcaster card, that's a reminder, you guys, that you have, once again, the power to make your manifestations happen that you have the power within you, you are the magic, you have it within you to create the life of your dreams, to co create the life that you desire. You are a co-creator with the universe. You are not just some victim who is basically here to, at the whims of the universe to just kind of, you know, that would be like if you were standing if you were in the ocean and you were just like standing there like obviously not in the middle of the ocean you know like near the shore <laughs> so you could stand on the sand but it's like you're standing in the ocean and the waves are just crashing down smashing you they're just smashing you down crashing on you and you you have arms and legs you could swim you could do something and move, but no, it's like you're just standing there taking it, just taking whatever the waves throw at you. Like, you don't have to be that person. You can use your arms and legs and you can swim. You you do have say. You do have some kind of say here. So make the best of it. Um, you know, take, like, take control in the areas where you can take control in. Understandably, there's a lot of things in life that are going to be out of our control, and it's going to get a lot easier if we accept that there are some things that we cannot change. But you can always have control of yourself, and you can always, um, you can always do what you need to do for you, first and foremost. So do that. You know, be the spellcaster here. That magic is within you. Um, 
anyone has the ability to. We all have the same tools. It's just some of us know how to use the tools and some of us don't. And if you don't know how to learn to use the tools, that's okay. You learn it. <laughs> you know, um, that's part of the school of life is learning how to use these tools, you know. Um, so, yeah, but uh, you, you can do it. You can manifest this stuff. It's an exciting time where you can start seeing those changes. Okay, can we still see the card? Yes, we can still see the card. Okay. And we have, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus, or is it? So, you know, sometimes, especially when people are new to spirituality and that kind of thing, um, you know, it's very easy to question, like, but can I really manifest the life of my dreams? But can I really change my situation? Can I really change my circumstances? Um, and when we get like that, it's because we are using that very cerebral part of our brains. We're using logic. We're using reasoning. We're rationalizing is what it comes down to. And, you know, there's a time and a place for logic. I'm definitely not saying that there's not. Um, you know, those parts of our brains were given to us for a reason. But when it comes down to manifesting the life that you want for yourself. Sometimes you can't be logical about it. Sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. Sometimes you just have to, um, sometimes you just have to believe in the impossible. Sometimes you just have to be okay with dreaming a little bit. You have to get out of your head and more so into your body. You have to drop down more into, um, you know, your your stomach, into like where your solar plexus is, because that's your power center. And you have to drop into your sacral chakra, because that's where your creativity is. You have to drop into your um, heart, in your heart space, where your heart chakra is, because, you know, that's going to be a lot of what fuels you with love. So, you know, you got to get out of your head, you know, it's none of no, no manifestation comes from <laughs> overthinking and overanalyzing, which is really funny because I just had a conversation yesterday with somebody about this. I was on a hike with the dogs and I ran into this random guy on the hike and there were like a lot of strange signs and synchronicities in this meetup. Um, which is not the point. I mean, I'm not going to get into all the details of that and everything, but he he was definitely someone who was more so um, an overthinker and an overanalyzer. So a lot of the stuff was just like very mind-blowing for him. Um, it was just a lot for him to digest and, and process. And usually when you're in the beginning of these kinds of things, it usually is, and that's okay. Um, it's okay to question things. It's okay to try and understand and figure it out but sometimes we also have to like let go of our understanding and um you know just kind of go with the flow and see what happens so um you know it's not always just a bunch of hocus pocus sometimes it's much more you know so just uh go, go with the flow and, and trust it and you know when in all doubts maybe this card is also just saying you know maybe you just need to watch hocus pocus that that could always be a possibility, too. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of hocus pocus. All right. What else do we got? I'm going to do a couple more. Then we're going to wrap things up here. Anything else for this group? Oh, okay. That one, like, definitely wanted to fall. So I'm just going to take it. All right. Harvesting the fruits of your labor. <laughs> What did I just tell you guys? <laughs> you know, growing new beginnings, harvesting, carving out manifestations, your manifestations happening because you are a powerful spellcaster, because it's not just a bunch of hocus pocus. Um, you know, I keep talking about the labor of love, and this is talking about the fruits of your labor from being like burdened, basically, and stressed out. So this is healthy stress. It is healthy stress. It's going to bring something amazing into your life. You know, uh, think, think about what a lot of women say, you know, after they have a baby, you know, uh, usually the labor, 
the labor pains and everything. The actual birthing process is like a total nightmare in hell. And they're in pain and they're screaming and they're crying. And they're like, never again and never again. I'm never going to get pregnant ever again. But then as soon as that doctor puts that baby in that woman's arms, it is like all that pain, all that suffering just melts away. And they completely forget it because they're holding that most beautiful, precious, adorable little life in their arms. This life that is completely dependent on them and is a pure angelic little soul that just came into this world and it's like their heart just explodes with love and that love completely erases all the pain and suffering and I feel like that's what's going to happen here with you guys too like it's painful right now but that like that's going to go away completely once you start to see this come through like your mind is just going to be blown and it's like when this stuff starts to happen you're going to look back a few months from now, a year from now, whatever, and you're going to be like, you're going to be like, wow, this is my life. Like, who would have known that it would even look like this? That it would even be like this. So that's pretty amazing. And one other note that I did want to make on the Spellcaster card is um, our words are spells like simple as that you don't have to be like a self-proclaimed witch or know about you know spells and that kind of thing but words are containers for power is what it comes down to what we say matters what we say has weight so you know when we speak negative things over our life we are basically cursing ourselves and when we are speaking love and light over our lives, positivity over our lives, we are blessing ourselves. So um, keep that in mind too, you know. Uh, watch watch what you say. Only say good things about yourself. And if there is something negative, don't make it a negative thing, you know, make it a constructive thing. Like, okay, this is something that is negative and difficult, but how can I turn this around into a positive? How can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? How can I make this better? All right, let's get one more card. I think this is gonna be the last one. Oh, there we go. We have a crystal suggestion. So I have a few crystal cards in this deck, um, which are basically suggestions from Spirit um, to help the person receiving the message. And you guys got Citrine. Now, Citrine is connected to the solar plexus. It ushers in joy. It acts as a motivator. It is known as the happy stone, and it helps with positivity and optimism. So, you know, this, this is a very joyful stone is what it comes down to. So if you don't have any Citrine already, go out, pick some up, um, you know, you can get it in a lot of different forms. You know, you can get it as like a bracelet. You can get it, um, you know, as like a palm stone, a tumble stone, whatever. Um, you can get it raw. There are so many different ways you can get it. You can get it maybe in like a pendant. It's like a necklace, something you could wear. Um, but either way, pick some up. Uh, I don't know any metaphysical stores that don't carry citrine because it is a pretty common crystal. Um, and it's beautiful. Actually, I will show you guys a really beautiful piece of citrine that I have right now, um, just so you have an idea. I mean, there's obviously citrine on this card, but um, that does not do justice for seeing the real thing. So, um, this is one of my pieces of citrine that I have. And, um, oh, what was the name of that metaphysical store? I got it at a local metaph metaphysical store here in Denver. Um, I don't remember the name of it, though. I've only been there once. Um, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. It's it's kind of dark. It's kind of a dark store, but that's, that's okay. They have a lot of cool stuff, but this one is mine. Um, one of the things that I really like about this one is it has, like, this indentation right here. So I like holding it kind of like this so I can like put my thumb right there and just like, it's almost, 
like it's like a remote control now. <laughs> it's like a clicker. I'm turn I'm turning on the joy, turning on the happiness, but you know, it works with either thumb on either hand and it's just like a nice little thumb. Oh, you can kind of see really good right there. It's like a nice little thumb indentation. Uh, but like if I just need like a pick me up, I kind of just like hold it, you know, really take in that energy. Um, you know, it's best to do that with your receiving hand. So um, my left hand is my receiving hand because my right hand is my dominant hand. So um, your dominant hand is usually the one that you are giving energy out with. And your receiving hand is the one where you receive energy. So obviously I want to receive joy. So it is in my non-dominant left hand. So anyways, um, I'll just put this citrine right here. And uh, you guys may want to get a little citrine for yourself. And like I said, they haven't... In, do I have another piece somewhere around here? I might have another one um, that's like much smaller. Oh, here, here's another piece. This is like in a very raw form. This one I actually got... Um, and it, it looks darker too. Like it looks much darker than the other one I showed you. So this one was actually in a candle. So, you know, you go to like home goods or something and they have, um, crystals in some of the candles. So this was out of one of those, uh, candles, I think at like home goods or something. So, you know, that one was definitely really cheap. It was part of a, um, a candle. I'm trying to think, are there any others that I have up here that are different than whatever I've shown you? I mean, if you already know what citrine is, don't, don't worry about it. I'm just kind of showing other examples. I have all these fake leaves up here right now, so I can't see half of what I got. Um, but those two are fine for now. Um, so yeah, anyways... Yeah, so uh, pick up a little citrine for yourself because when you are feeling, you know, stressed out and burdened, when you are feeling weighed down, when you feel that inner bitch coming in, or maybe you're still dealing with things that you need to heal from the past here, uh, grab some of that citrine because it's going to help lift your spirits, it's going to help boost your mood and get you back into a healthy headspace to ultimately get you to where you want to go so you can carve out those manifestations and so you can um, harvest what it is that you're trying to harvest here. So that's basically what I have for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this collective reading and like I said, take the parts that make sense, um, leave the other stuff that doesn't make sense for you behind so um, that's basically that. But I want to thank you guys for dropping on by and hanging out here with me today. I definitely appreciate you so incredibly much. Once again, smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. That definitely helps me out a lot. And drop me a comment down below. Say hi. Let me know how you are. What's happening in life. You know, let's talk. Let's, let's have a conversation. Um... And also, if you're not subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe at this time and hit the notification bell because that way then you will be up to date and notified anytime a new video is posted or any new updates come out in general. And if you guys resonate with me as a reader and you're interested in your own personal reading, head on over to my website, shadowandshine.com. That is your one-stop shop for anything and everything. So just head on over there and you can find image readings, YouTube unlisted readings, uh, Zoom readings. There's, you know, all kinds of different readings there for all different, um, all different price points and so on. And uh, also, if you guys like this deck and you would like to own this deck for yourself, you can find this deck on my website as well. So you can find Fallen for You as well as my original Oracle deck, Written in the Stars. They're both available. I have a new one coming out soon in November, so that will be there as well. Be on the lookout for that. That announcement will be coming out in the upcoming weeks ahead. Um... So yeah, whether you're looking for an Oracle deck or a reading for yourself, that's the place to find it. 
And like I mentioned earlier, I just opened up a Patreon. So if you guys are interested in becoming a Patreon member, you are welcome to join the Patreon. Memberships start as low as a dollar and 11 cents per month and you will get weekly card pools. And then going up to the $5 and 55 cents a month tier, you will get uh, daily card pulls, and you will be able to have access to the Shadow and Shine Discord server, which is completely confidential and private. Um, so, you know, that's really great for keeping trolls out and scammers out. And um, it makes it just a really good place to talk about all things going on, whether it's, you know, tarot or twin flames or crystals or astrology or you know any of those kinds of things it's going to be a great place to connect and there's a lot of other uh, offerings on uh, patreon as well even beyond that so that's just kind of like the basic beginning stuff so go on ahead and check out my patreon as well uh, link is down below for that too uh, but that's that's basically it you guys and as I was Closing out here, I just noticed one more piece of citrine. <laughs> this one, it's kind of similar to the first one, but it's smaller. Um, this one is actually an ornament. So this one is a Christmas ornament. How appropriate considering Christmas time is coming. But yeah, so it's, it's kind of similar to the first one. And uh, it's just a little cute ornament. So um, there's no reason I should not have joy in my life with all this citrine surrounding me. Anyways, that's basically it, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I also hope you enjoyed the Halloween decor tour part of this video if you had checked that out already. If you didn't check it out, you know, and you, you're interested, you're curious to check it out, then feel free. Go backwards and go check it out. And uh, there you go. So I will see you guys next time around. I hope you guys have an amazing day or amazing night, whenever it is that you're looking at this, viewing this. So... Um, I am sending you lots of hugs and much love. Keep sparkling.